Okay, everybody, so today we're going to be doing a video on the bolt-action rifles from the Axis Powers in World War II. So in this video, we're going to be looking at uh, Italy, Japan, and Germany. I know there were a couple other nations like Romania and Hungary that they had separate rifles, but we're just looking at the big three today. And uh, first off here with the smallest one, we've got the uh, M91-38 Carcano. Uh, and 6.5 Carcano, uh, and then right here we've got the uh, Type 99 Arasaka and 7.7 Japanese, and right here we've got the Car 98K and uh, 8mm Mauser. Now these rifles, this was the, this isn't uh, perfectly representative of what Italy had. They also had 7.35 guns and they had their M38 short rifles, but this is the one we've got, so this is the one we're doing the video with. So this is Italy's rifle, Japan's rifle, and Germany's rifle. And uh, the Carcano is in-block clip-fed. And then the Arasaka and the Mauser are both stripper clip-fed. And uh, the bayonets we have on these, this one has a underfolding bayonet designed for cavalry use was also used by forces that were on bicycles. And then this right here is our Arasaka bayonet, made by Toyota, the same Toyota that makes cars today. And then this is our bayonet for our Mauser. It isn't perfectly representative of the ones that were used by Germany, but it's the one we've got. And uh, these rifles, the Carcano is cock on open, the Arasaka is cock on close, and the Mauser is cock on open. The uh, Carcanos were produced from the original ones of these, the 91s, were produced in 1893. And these ones were produced from 1938 to 1943. The Arasakas were produced from uh, 1939 to 1945. And then the Car 98s were produced from uh, uh, 1934 to 1845 and uh, the sights on these on the Carcano they are fixed sights not adjustable on the uh, Arasaka you have a peep sight here that has anti-aircraft wings you won't find those on the later models this is only on the early pattern guns and on the uh, uh, Mauser it's got more of a standard military sight and it leaf sight that uh, goes up to 2,000 meters on the Car 98, uh, 1,500 meters on the Arasaka, and uh, it's a 300 meter fixed zero with the uh, Carcano. And uh, all of these are very nice rifles. Uh, the Carcano wasn't produced to the standard of the Arasaka K98, but it's still a nice rifle, still reliable. And uh, this one is a veteran bringback from World War II. He's got his initials carved here, a J and a W. And then uh, this one was brought back after World War II, uh, probably just brought back by somebody returning home from occupation duty in Japan. And then this uh, K-98 is a uh, Yugoslavian capture, but it was made in Germany in 1944, so it's accurate. It just has had the, most of the markings ground off. And, uh, yeah, we're going to shoot these rifles today and tell you which one's the best. Uh, there's not too much else to say about them, so uh, let's get into shooting at some. Okay, we're going to start off by firing the Carcano. And uh, real quick, I'll demonstrate the safety on this. So the safety is a bit of a weird safety. You do that, and that uh, what it's doing is disconnecting your striker, uh, and your spring and that uh, so you can't fire your gun and uh, we're gonna this one is the only uh, one of these guns in it's a uh, in-block clip bed we're gonna put it in our clip there and with the Carcano you do have to be a bit forceful with loading it
And with the Carcano on your last round, your clip will drop out the bottom. That's all six of them. Okay, this is our group with the Carcano. One here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. All six of them. And I forgot to aim low, because with the Carcano, it has a 300 meter zero, and you're supposed to, if you were shooting at a person, aim at their uh, belt, and then hit them in the chest. Uh, so I should have aimed more down here to hit on the target, but it groups fairly well, just high. Oh, it looks like we're out of ammo. Problem solved. Okay, now we're gonna fire our K98. Uh, on the ammo we're shooting for the Carcano and the uh, Mauser is a PPU rifle line ammo. Clip fed. And real quick, I'll demonstrate the safety on this if you haven't seen it before. So in this position, it's safe. This is the disassembly position, and this is fire. That's all five of them. Okay, this is our group with the car 98. We got uh, two touching the orange just slightly and then the other three just below it, but that's a pretty nice group. Oh, looks like we're out of ammo. Going home. All right. So now we're gonna fire five rounds out of the Arasaka, and uh, the ammo we're shooting out of this is our hand loads. We're using PPU components. Oh, and one more thing about the uh, Arasaka is it has a chrome-lined bore. It was the first military rifle to actually have a chrome-lined bore.
That's all five of them. I don't know if we showed this earlier, but the safety on this is just that. You push in and rotate it, and that's your safety. And it also locks up your bolt. And then take it off the safe, and it works just fine. Okay, this is our group with the Type 99. It's a fairly tight group, too. All around, I'd say they're all fairly accurate rifles. Looks like we're out of ammo. Well, that solved the problem. Okay, everybody, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, this was the Axis rifles of World War II, the Axis bolt action rifles. And uh, all these rifles are fairly nice uh, shooters. Uh, and I'd say if you're interested in getting any of these, the Carcano would definitely be the one to look at. Uh, these are still for sale on a few online sites, and you can find these fairly cheaply. Um, uh, you can st find them for about $250 if you want a more of a fixer-upper that might have some issues with it. And uh, these are pretty good as far as getting into collecting. Um, uh, the one thing about them is ammo is somewhat hard to find, but you can find it if you look long enough. And while you're looking for ammo, you can sort out any issues your rifle has and uh as far as the best rifle as a shooter and something you'd actually want to take into war i'd say the arasaka just because of the simplicity of the bolt disassembly the feel of the rifle it cycles just as smooth as the mauser and uh it's based off the mauser action and uh this rifle is real accurate it's got a chrome line bore so if you were to shoot corrosive ammo out of it, it would hold up better than any of these other rifles. And uh, the Arasaka rifles are very nice. They're quite light. They're lighter than, uh, this rifle is lighter than both of the, these rifles, which may be somewhat shocking seeing the little Carcano next to it, but it's lighter than the Carcano if you hold it. And the K98 Mauser is a a quite nice rifle uh, built to a high standard now I want to correct something we said earlier earlier I said that uh, it was made in 1944 it was actually made in 1943 but uh, these are quite nice rifles uh, quite accurate and uh, if you enjoyed the video let us know in the comments and if you want to see an allied rifles of World War II video uh, let us know in the comments, and I'll do an Allied Rifles of World War II video if this video can get to 50 likes, so I'm setting a like goal. If you get to 50 likes on the video, then I'll make an Allied Rifles with the Mosin, the Lee Enfield, the uh, French MAS, and the M1 Garand. So, that'll be something for y'all to, a good reason for y'all to like the video. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the video, so I guess I'll catch you in the next one.